Well, it was the world's first nuclear-powered passenger and cargo ship, and they're commemorating that today in Savannah. City Council making this August 22nd Nuclear Ship Savannah Recognition Day. Now, therefore, I, Edna Branch Jackson, Mayor of the City of Savannah, do hereby proclaim August 22nd, 2012, as NS Savannah 50th Anniversary Day. Now, the Georgia Historical Society and Maritime Groups are going to dedicate a marker honoring the NS Savannah on the waterfront where the city's namesake ship first arrived 50 years ago. Check out that video in 1962. Photos and other memorabilia on display through the end of the year, and you can see it all on City Hall Guided Tours the first Tuesday of every month at noon. Beautiful old film. Love that. Well, a huge honor for an historic ship. The nuclear ship Savannah is the world's first nuclear-powered passenger and cargo ship. A new exhibit of that ship will be launched August the 22nd at City Hall. The historic marker in Hutchinson Island will also be put up honoring the ship's 50th anniversary of when it first came to Savannah. There's the footage right there back in 1962. City Council also issued a proclamation to recognize August 22nd as Nuclear Ship Savannah Recognition, Recognition Day. The ship is currently in Baltimore. While we don't have the ship here in Savannah and this 50th anniversary event is not necessarily about getting it here, what we do want to do is celebrate what the Savannah means and celebrate people's memories of when it first came here back in 1962. City Council will also be holding free public tours every first Tuesday of the month at noon. That begins next month. That would be September the 4th. Well, it was a celebration today of Savannah's Maritime Mark on the World. Mayor Edna Jackson did the honors this afternoon as City Council issued a proclamation inside chambers. Council declared August 22nd Nuclear Ship Savannah Recognition, uh, Recognition Day to mark the NS Savannah's visit here back in 1962. The NS Savannah was filmed as it made its way down the Savannah River and served as an example by sailing around the world as the first nuclear-powered passenger and cargo ship. And you can see the maritime memorabilia through the end of the year during council meetings or guided tours.